Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and I'm here to give you a quick overview on how to play our Math Orbital Cannon game. It's a degree measuring game, and when you first start the game, this is what you'll see. If you click the More Games, that'll take you to our website. The Play Game button will take you to this screen. Now, I've already played and completed the first day, so I can actually choose to play the first or second day. And there's 10, 10 days here. Each day gets progressively harder. But the good news is you have upgrades, and you can see those here. And actually see them and purchase them here. But And that will help you get through some of the harder levels. When you first start out, all the uh, upgrades will be $500 a piece. I've already bought the cannon damage and the shield count. And now the price is a little bit more expensive. And so as you buy upgrades, they become a little bit more expensive each time. And the ones I like are the cannon damage, the move speed, the shield count. Not really use reload speed much, but later on le later levels that may really help you out some. The cannon damage actually gives your gives you a more powerful cannon. The move speeds will allow your cannon to move faster around the world. The reload speed uh, allows you to fire quicker and then the shield count actually allows you to have more enemies reach the earth when you first start out you have one shield count one shield and that allows one enemy to hit the earth if, if a second enemy reaches the earth then the game's over and I'll show you how that works out in a little bit let's go ahead and take a look at the game let's go ahead and uh, look at day two actually I'm gonna go to day one because it has the demo the static screen that gives it a little bit overview of how to play and basically it says type your aiming angle and degrees and hit enter and you'll enter that right here and you'll need to be sure and click the screen in the game so that you have uh, the screen has focus and you'll be able to input data sometimes if you haven't clicked in the screen then you'll type in a number and it won't show up in there but that would be what would be a, what would be causing the issue if you if you type in a number and it doesn't show up? So the screen looks like this. The enemies come in from all around. There's one right there coming in, and this is a little message showing you want, that there's one coming in from this direction. So if you were playing this particular game, you would fire again if it didn't destroy this enemy and get rid of this enemy. Then you would choose an angle, type in an angle uh, in degrees that you wanted to the cannon to move and fire and move it over here and you can even shoot at them even though they're off screen and you really need to do that now the number of shields you have is listed here and um, if you have if you don't have any shields and an enemy gets through to earth then that particular uh, you, you that level ends and you can try it again so the amount of defines is the amount of money you've earned in this particular level or that you have and then the wave shows you how many enemies are left in this particular level and as as the enemies come in and you uh, destroy them the this bar will go down and right once it reaches the bottom then the levels over so when you first start out one thing you need to know is the zero degree mark is here you can't probably can't see it in the video but there's each there's individual marks between here and this little mark here and that's each mark is one degree the next larger mark is five degree the next mar larger mark is ten degrees so that you have uh, this mark is ten degrees twenty thirty forty fifty sixty seventy eighty and this is the ninety mark this is the one eighty mark this is two seventy mark and this goes all the way up to three sixty you could either put zero or three sixty in here to shoot straight up so once I got rid of this in me, what I would type in this one, it looks like about a little bit less than 20, but I'd go ahead and try 20, and then you'll get a little message telling you if you hit it, it'll say it'll give you say something like wonderful or great shot, something like that, and that lets you know you hit it. And if you still see incoming, then that tells you you're going to have to fire it again, and you just plug that same number in if you hit it the first time, plug that same number in, and uh, that should get rid of the enemy. And that's that's the reason later levels you'll have tougher tougher enemies and you'll need a stronger cannon. And the stronger cannon actually allows you for the weaker enemies to take just one shot. The uh, this button here 
is a pause button and uh, that allows you to go to back to the main menu where you can choose to play uh, another day again or just restart or go back or resume one. It also allows you to turn the sound on and off. Let's go ahead and I'm going to click and I'm going to actually show you how to play the game or what it looks like in action. I'm looking around here, there's incoming right there. That That's the uh, 270 mark, 280, 290, 3, 310. It looks like about 315, and it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm kind of just getting a. Oh, did that down. Okay, so it's a little bit high. So I'm going to go down to 310, and that did quite a bit of damage. So I hit 310 again. And there's incoming up here, and that looks like about, I'm just going to guess about 40 degrees. Just get the cannon over there, and I need to go a little bit more. And I got rid of that guy. And then and it looks like we got another one coming in about 20 degrees. And I'm estimating here, but you could actually count it off if you want to uh, by the marks here. Um, looking around, looks like we got one coming in here. He's coming in behind this large satellite here. And that's about, uh, let's go 250, just get it over get the cannon over there and actually it's going to be about 240 now this one kind of moves around a little bit the meteor will move around a little bit so sometimes you might hit it with like say 240 and the next shot will be 245 got one coming in here about uh let's guess I'm just guessing 130 looks like about, about right oh, not quite 140 and got that guy got another one over here now I shot before and it keeps it retains the where I shot before and it keeps the degree marking. So this is 315. I'm going to go ahead and put in about 322. See if we can't uh, get rid of that saucer. And he's not coming in directly, so let's go ahead and turn three. Took him out. That one coming in here about uh, 100. Oh. Took him out. And this one looks like he's coming in here, which would put it at about 10 degrees. And hit enter. Got another one. Looks like he's coming in over here. Let me hit 10 again. I didn't take him out. Put in 12. That'll get rid of him. Okay. And this one looks like he's coming in about 35. This one here. Got rid of him. Got one coming in here. Looks like about this was 140, 150, 160. I hope you can see that on the video, but if you can't, and, and when you play the game, you'll get a good feel of it. Now, the, the wave is down to zero. That tells me this is probably the last enemy. He looks like he's about 260. The reason I know that's 250. Put another 10. Should be right there. Got rid of it. Now, Earth, Earth has been saved. Well, for day one, anyways, the additional funds I got were $1,280. Go ahead and click OK. And now I have money so I can go to the upgrades screen and buy upgrades. Now you, you can keep playing. If, if you get on these later levels and they're too hard, you can always go play the previous levels and earn money, get upgrades. And I've got 1580. I've got uh, two shields. I want to go ahead and get a little bit faster move speed. Um, my cannon is probably okay. Um, 650. I'll go ahead and get... Uh, other move speed just give a little bit uh, faster movement. Now you see that those were lit up, which means I could actually buy them, buy one of them. The research funds are four hundred and thirty dollars. There's nothing that that I can buy with that amount, so they were are no longer hi highlighted. I'm going to go ahead and go back to back, and I can play day two. And in this level, the uh, enemy ought to come in a little bit faster. And I'll need that powerful cannon. Let's see if we can see if it's actually do about one one ten. I think it's a little bit short. Yep, uh, one fifteen. You notice it's moving a little bit faster. Let's go ahead and put in two sixty. Oh yeah, it's moving a lot faster. Whoa, what did I plug in there? Oh, okay. Uh, a little bit off. Added a little extra hundred on there. Hit enter. Got rid of that enemy. So that's how you play the game. I uh, hope you enjoy playing it. I hope the videos help some. And thanks for watching.